At muli po nagbabalik ang Good Morning Batangas. O, narito na po tayo dahil may dala pong good news ang MD Dolores Hope. Ayan, magpakilala muna po tayo. Uh, good morning. Good morning. Uh, I'm Ted. Ako po ay Filipino-Chinese galing po sa Dolores Hope. Kamusta naman ang iyong morning, uh, Ted? Maayos naman po. <laughs> Ayan, uh, bati, bati ka muna sa ating mga, ano, sa ating mga viewers. Hello, uh, good morning, Batangas. <laughs> uh, it's so glad to be here po to to uh, announce po the arrival of our our ship in in a few weeks, in one week actually, in next week next week Tuesday is opening, and we're so excited to to tell you guys so that you guys can experience the the amazing ship of Dulas Hope. Of course, uh, we're we're really excited, no, for the coming of MV Dulas Hope. Okay, uh, Ted, uh, after a 17-year hiatus, what inspired the decision to bring MV Dulos Hope back to Batangas City? So, our previous ship, MV Dulos, it, uh, the last time it was here was 2007. And after three years after it visited Batangas, it was retired because it was an old ship. Mm. It's around the same age as Titanic. So, it was retired and the old ship became a hotel in Indonesia right now. So, it, it got lifted up on the land and became a luxury hotel. So, for the past, uh, since 2010, so 13 years, there was only one ship going around. We only have one ship, which is Logos Hope. And it took a long time to yeah. circle around the globe. Mm. Currently, it's still in Africa. It just came from the Middle East and now Africa. So, last year, our... Uh, our company, GBA Ships, bought a new ship from, actually from Star Cruise. Uh, we bought a new ship and it was inaugurated last year. And this is a new ship called Dulas Hope. And that's why this, we were able to come back to Batangas because there is a new ship. Yeah. All right. Congratulations uh, for that. For that. Okay, uh, Mr. Ted, uh, the MV Dulles Hope is one of the largest floating boat fairs in the world. Can you share with us some highlights of what visitors can expect during its return to Batanga City? Well, one of the highlights po ay the, the book fair, which is really affordable, affordable quality books, especially children's books. There are a lot that kids can enjoy and there are also religious books that are at an, a very affordable price. And aside from that, I think one of the highlights is meeting the crew members. So we're more than 30 nationalities 30 on board. Nation. So when you get on board, please ask, ask them how's their experience, what country are they from. And because all of the people working in Book Fair, they're all volunteers. So we are a non-profit organization and we rely on volunteers to help the ship run so that we can offer affordable books to the, to the communities in need. Okay, is there any uh, link or how to register to be a, be a volunteer? So yes, you can check our Facebook page, Dulas Hope the Philippines, in order to, to see updates. So there will be an advanced booking system because we expect a long queue for the walk-ins. Mm -hmm. So the advanced booking system will be available starting this Sunday. This Sunday? Yes. Okay, uh, to all viewers, ayan, abangan nyo po yan dahil marami pong nagtatanong sa amin. Actually, marami nga po nagtatanong sa amin na uh, kailan po mag-open yung registration para po dun sa, sa pag, ano nga po, pag, para makapagpabook. Yes. Dami, actually, ay napakarami na naging inquire. Okay, uh, Mr. Ted, how has the MB Dulles Hope evolved since its last visit to Batanga City? Are there any new features or programs that visitors should look forward to? So, one big difference is it's a new ship. Um, it's, a, it's a better looking ship, although it is smaller, but it is better looking. It's more modern now. Yes. And maybe one feature that you guys can look forward to is we have a new program. We have a global praise concert and it will happen on, mm. on April 22 at 5 p.m. And it will be in the Batangas Coliseum and you'll be able to see so many nationalities there. And like different churches, different communities, different, different people from different backgrounds coming to praise the Lord. And I think it's a very exciting thing to do. You, it's very rare to see so many nationalities in one single place and I think it's a once-in-a-lifetime experience so you guys should definitely look out for it. 
So in order to join, uh, we'll be selling tickets. So you can follow our Facebook page, um, Global Praise Concerts, in order to see updates on how you can get tickets for that event. Okay. Actually, direct, meron din po silang mga poster dyan. Makita nyo na lamang po yan sa ating promotions, dyan sa ating folder, para makita rin po ng ating mga viewers. Ayan. Papakita po ng ating director. And of course, uh, Mr. Ted, uh, may mga ano ba dito? Uh, may mga age? Is there any age uh, para makapasok ba sa, ano, sa MD Duluso? There's no age restriction. Uh, for the kids, uh, kailangan lang po ng parental guidance since there are railings and it, it's quite dangerous for kids to be alone roaming around. So parental guidance is required for children. And for seniors naman po, sorry to say, but we are not PWD friendly mm -hmm. because of the gangway and the staircases. It's around three to four flights of stairs going mm -hmm. up. So it's quite difficult for PWD to go up. Okay, uh, that's uh, clear for, to our uh, PWD. Even the, uh, how about the senior citizens? Uh, as long as they can climb the stairs, no problem. Okay, no problem to our senior citizens. Okay, uh, Mr. Ted, with the rise of digital media and e-books, how does MB Dulles Hope stay relevant in encouraging a love for physical books and reading? I think with the rise of so many digital platforms, I think it became even more special, the platform of Dulles Hope, mm. because it's getting rarer and rarer to fi yes. find physical books. And also, it's becoming more and more expensive <laughs> compared to digital platforms. So I think MV Dulles Hope bringing affordable quality books will give uh, a refreshing opportunity for the younger generations to experience books again at an affordable price. Yes, it's really affordable price. Compare mo naman sa mga e-books. Kapag nalobat ka, nako, hindi nyo na po magagamit yung inyong mga gadget. Mamaya, mawala pa yan. Ito kasi... Diba? Ma talagang physical. O, magkagamit po yan natin at mapapamana pa natin sa ating mga kapwa. And, and of course, uh, for my follow-up questions, and can you tell us about any special events or activities planned during MB Dulles Hope stay in Batangas City that visitors should not miss, Mr. Ted? Well, I think as mentioned a while ago, the Global Face Concert, you guys should definitely attend. So here's the poster right now. So it's on April 22, Monday, 5 p.m. It will be in Coliseum, and Batangas Coliseum. And please follow the Facebook page, Global Praise Concert, to, to be updated on how to get tickets. And I think this will, be, this will be the main event. So this is the first time we're doing it. And it will be the, yeah, it will be the first time. So in the previous ports in the Philippines, we went to Subic, mm -hmm. La Union, and Manila. This never happened. Okay. So this is, this is very big, and it will be the first time. And I hope that Batanga City will will create a bang in our in our ship and to 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 create a big impact in the community. But aside from that, please uh, make sure to to book for our book fair, the booking system, because we do expect a long queue. Like in the Union, there were people queuing up for two hours and more, especially on weekends. So we encourage you to come on weekdays so that you guys will have a better experience and make sure you guys have an advanced booking so that to shorten the queuing time. Right. Uh, actually, hindi talaga magpapahuli no, yung mga batanggay nyo kasi bukod sa maliligalig na talagang gustong-gusto nila. No, yan. Kaya, kaya excited na rin kaming makita yan. And of course, lastly, how can people get involved or support the mission of MB Dulles Hope both during its visit to Batangas City and beyond? I think because MB Dulles is a non-profit organization, so when you buy books from the book fair, it actually helps our operation. Mm. But aside from that, we also heavily rely on outside support, outside donations. So if you, if, if it touches your heart to donate, please come and donate also and support this, this ministry. Because aside from the book fair, aside from sharing knowledge, we also share help in uh, humanitarian help. So we do water filtration, eyeglass program, beach cleanup, and many more humanitarian help. And through all of these, we hope that we'll be able to bring hope to the communities that, that need it the most. So we encourage you to buy from our, from the books from our book fair to help support the ministry and also to donate if, you, if it touches your heart. 
Alright, thank you, uh, Mr. Ted. Actually, uh, may mga additional questions tayo. Yes. Uh, how to volunteer po? Uh, ayon kay Maros Ermidilia. I guess, uh, yan. Uh, you can message in our Facebook page and we'll follow up on you on the process of becoming a volunteer. So you can scan the QR code shown on the screen to, to go to our Facebook page or you can search on the search bar, Dulos Hope, the Philippines. Yes, ito may mga nagtatanong din ay kay Amel Paglinawan Bermudas. Sa Pure ba ng Batangas City yan? Mag-anchor? Yes po. Actually sa Batangas Port. And kay Enna Rojas, ayan, same din siya, how to volunteer. Actually, napakarami nang gusto mag-volunteer. Mm. Ayan, good morning po, Aslan. O, if meron pong Freireg para makapasok o pre-registration para makapasok sa barko or wala naman, pwede on the spot na pupunta. Pwede pong walk-in, but then mag-risk po kayo na mahaba po yung pila. So, better to to book a booking oh slot. But if not, if it's really fully booked already, because it fills up really fast, the so advanced booking. If it's filled up already, you can take your chance and and uh, go po and line up in the queue for walk-ins. Okay. May mga additional ano ka pa? Gusto sabihin, uh, Mr. Lee? Uh, I think that's all. That's and all. we're so excited to see you on board and hope to hope to talk to you guys. If you see me on board, please say hi and and we can we can have a chat and to learn from each other and share hope with each other. And may mga may mga nais ka pa bang i-shout out or pasalamatan, Mr. Ted? Um, I think thank you so much for all the local supports and all local organizations that are helping us out because our ship rely on a lot of partnerships and we cannot do this without the locals' help in Batanga City and we thank you guys so much and we hope that we can, we can do this together for, to, to make the world a better place. All right, thank you so much, uh, Mr. Ted Lee and from MB Dulu's Hope. Thank you. And thank you once again. Ayan, magbabalik po muli ang good morning, Batangas. Magkita-kita po tayo.